Third, and you are looking at a live view of the Dragon spacecraft as it approaches the International Space Station for a planned docking in just under two and a half hours from now. Uh, that light you can see on your screen is indeed the Dragon 2 spacecraft from a view on the International Space Station. And to put into perspective just how fast everything's moving, a commercial airplane usually cruises at about 550 miles per hour, it takes about five hours to go from LA to New York City. If you were able to fly as fast as Dragon, you could cover that distance in just eight and a half minutes. And you can actually see what Dragon has been uh, doing over the past uh, 24 hours right now on your screen. Uh, immediately after that Dragon spacecraft separated from the Falcon 9 rocket, it began what we uh, call the activation and rendezvous phase of the mission. During this phase, mission operators configured the vehicle for on-orbit operations, and Dragon executed a series of burns which gradually raised its orbit to align more closely with the ISS. A final co-elliptic burn, which started at about 9.59 uh, p.m. here at local time in Hawthorne, placed Dragon into the same orbital plane of the ISS, uh, about two and a half kilometers below and seven kilometers behind, uh, which had then prepared it for its approach on autonomous docking maneuvers. Now we actually have some views uh, inside of Dragon still, and we're going to get those hopefully throughout the webcast today. And we're going to be able to see that hatch open in just a couple of hours from now. And you can kind of make it out. Our zero-g indicator looks to have hopped out of its seat. This is Mission Control Houston. You are getting a live view of the Dragon spacecraft uh, now just about 3,000 meters away uh, from the International Space Station. At this time, the International Space Station about to enter into an orbital nighttime 266 statute miles above the Earth, uh, just south of Australia. Again, about to enter an orbital nighttime. You'll see the views get a little bit darker. Uh, at this point, Dragon has completed uh, its approach initiation burn. We are now in integrated operations. A few more milestones to hit. Uh, in just under eight minutes at this point, uh, we're looking for a mid-course burn, an approach initiation mid-course burn uh, to look forward to. Not too long after that, we'll enter into uh, the 1,000 meter or kilometer range from the International Space Station. And so this is our first view from the camera on Dragon. So this is a forward view. So right on the end of the nose, well, right where the nose cone used to be, no longer covering it, but right by the docking port uh, for the Dragon spacecraft. So that's actually a view back at the International Space Station. Those white ribbons that you're looking at are radiators on board the station. Those are used to uh, get rid of all the heat generated by the electronics and all the various systems on board. Uh, Dragon is getting very close uh, at the International Space Station. You can see uh, some intermittent views here from Dragon's transmission yeah. to the ground. Uh, looks like the space station has come around into the light. Uh, looks pretty beautiful. Uh, we will get even more uh, detailed pictures of that as the Dragon gets closer and closer to the forward port that it's about to dock with. Uh, right here you can see the uh, over the overlay that the crew would be seeing if they were inside Dragon right now. Um, there is a little green dot in the very center uh, that's currently tracking the docking port and uh, if Dragon tilts away from it, it should stay tracked. Uh, but right now, since we're getting this in the ground, uh, it's this, this would normally be overlaid over the centerline camera. Right now we're getting this uh, feed from a different camera that's a little bit off center, so it's not going to be uh, exactly on all the time, but it will uh, simulate what a Dragon uh, astronaut would be seeing if they were in the commander's seat on those touchscreen displays. All right, and we just heard confirmation that Dragon is now inside of the Keep Out Sphere. Now, again, the Keep Out Sphere is an imaginary circle around the International Space Station of about 200 meters. All right, and we just heard the conversation there from Ann McLean back down to Houston. So we're past waypoint number one and the retreat command has been sent. So we're actually going to see Dragon kind of stop here 
uh, waypoint two is that gray dot that's uh, in the very, very close to the International Space Station, the diagram you're seeing on your screen right now. Uh, just to give you an idea of the, the scale of the distances we're seeing. Uh, and on your screen, you can, you can see the, uh, the Draco thrusters uh, firing of that dragon. Right now, it's a little uh, bright. The, the contrast is a little off, but you can see the, uh, uh, every time one of those Draco thrusters fires, uh, you can see its exhaust gases spewing away from the dragon. Uh, it's a great view right there. <clears throat> it is. It's, it's great to get some views from the station side of Dragon, yeah. And hopefully once it gets in close, we'll get some views from those cameras right on the end of the docking adapter. But it's, it's always cool to see the thrusters fire in space, too. Look at them go. Reminder that uh, Dragon is a totally autonomous vehicle. Uh, it's station keeping. It's holding its position all by itself right now. Those are all the Dragon flight computers making uh, minute adjustments whenever it feels it needs to, uh, to stay pointed and in the right position. And we got an update, Dragon, now about 160 meters away from the station, so still moving back. Again, slow and steady wins the race with, the, with everything today. We're just trying to make sure everything works. Uh, but continuing to back away, we're at 160 again. We're going out to 180, and then the crew should be sending a hold command to the spacecraft. Uh, what you're seeing on your screen right now is in uh, what the overlay that the astronauts in the ISS are seeing. Uh, this is actually from and the uh, centerline camera uh, on board the Dragon, uh, and you're seeing the uh, the docking over the docking system overlay that if you were on the International Space Station looking at that laptop, you'd be able to see the Dragon approaching and getting closer and closer to the International okay, Docking Adapter. Station Houston on one, Dragon is resuming approach to waypoint two. Monitor per step seven in one decimal one zero two. Dragon approach and retreat monitor. Dragon is currently resuming its approach towards waypoint two. Uh, again, after that commanded retreat, uh, it went back out to 180, maybe 170, 180 meters away, was commanded to hold, and it has just been given the go ahead to re approach back to waypoint two. You can start to see the uh, space station in great detail here. Um, again, this is from a view of the uh, forward media cam at the top of the Dragon 2 module. Uh, just to reiterate, this camera is not directly on the center line of the docking axis. Uh, oh, this is a fantastic view of uh, Dragon in the sunlight from the International Space Station. Um, so normally when we're getting views from the Dragon for this webcast, you're going to be seeing a camera that's not quite on the center line, so it's a little bit off. And uh, it may not look like we're heading directly towards the docking adapter, but uh, if we're lucky enough, we might get some views from the centerline camera in the very center of the hatch from the space station, and you can see us kind of heading on right in. But right now, um, this is an unbelievable view from a space station. You can see Dragon 2 in full light with its nose cone open, uh, its soft capture ring deployed. Uh, you can actually start to see those three petals that I was talking about earlier on that ring uh, 120 degrees apart. That ring is uh, extended above the hatch uh, by six hexapod arms that are all attached to Dragon by springs. Um, so that, that will be the first part of Dragon to make contact with the ISS. Uh, and when it does, those springs will uh, compress and absorb and dampen uh, any of the relative velocity differences between the space station and Dragon. This soft capture system was actually subjected to extensive testing and uh, the six degree of freedom dynamic test system at NASA Johnson. And uh, this was actually the very same system they used uh, to test other docking systems at NASA. And we're hearing that Dragon is now at waypoint two, about 20 meters away from station. So again, station Dragon's Houston just going to hold 20 here. meter hold confirmed. Perform step eight in one decimal one zero two. Dragon approach and retreat monitoring. Uh, so the light you're seeing is both light from the International Space Station pointed at Dragon, and then the docking light, uh, which is the bright spot in the center of Dragon's hatch, you can see right now. Right now, Dragon's flight computer is uh, using those Draco thrusters, as you can see them firing on your screen to uh, Station Houston stabilize. And one. Dragon is resuming approach and is go for docking. Monitor per steps 9 and 10 in 1 decimal 102. Dragon approach and retreat monitoring. Station copies. Vehicle mode is approached to docking port. 
primary range is decreasing, vehicle is centered. Copy all. And getting good reports from Anne McLean there on board the International Space Station. Dragon is approaching, everything in on the center and still looking good. So the crew is using that centerline camera on the Dragon spacecraft just to do all of their final monitoring of the vehicle. Uh, this camera a little off center. Uh, this is not the one the crew is using, uh, but this is one that we have. But you can see now that international docking adapter. It's attached to a larger black piece of the station. That's a pressurized mating adapter, which is then attached to actually one of the modules, uh, which is known as node two in the Harmony. It's the Harmony module. So Dragon continuing to close in. It's expected to take just about five minutes or so. And there's a great side-by-side -side look. One view on your left from Dragon, one view on your right from the International Space Station. On the view on the left uh, from Dragon looking at the space station, we can finally see those details of the international docking adapter. Um, the IDA is a passive system, and uh, the Dragon contains all the active components of that docking system. You can actually see those uh, those androgynous petals, uh, the those three petals that are kind of sticking at 120 degrees apart from each other on the IDA on the left-hand side. In the very middle is actually a visual docking target uh, that the astronauts can use to judge whether or not the Dragon is right on course. Uh, it has a little stick that comes off uh, from the center of it so you can see the stick shadow and determine whether or not you're directly on center in all three axes. Uh, like Dan said, this camera view on the left from Dragon is not Station the center line camera. It's actually the forward media cam. Range is nine and a half and decreasing. Vehicle is centered. Largest excursion observed is less than half a meter. Less than half a degree. Copy. All right, we're inside 10 meters, halfway there. Uh, like I was saying, this camera view right here is just a little bit off center from the center line, so it may look like we're not approaching that IDA directly head on uh, just because the camera is not in the right position. But uh, the crew has that center line camera, which is directly dead on. Um, and as long as we keep hearing these good call outs, it sounds like Dragon is dead right where it needs to be. And there it is. There's that center line camera view that the crew in the International Space Station is using. They use the overlays to uh, figure out and that, and that visual docking uh, uh, guide right there to make sure that Dragon is exactly where it needs to be as it approaches. On the right hand side, you can start to see the mechanisms uh, of the SpaceX docking system aboard the Dragon. Uh, the very first part of Dragon that will make contact with the ISS is that soft capture ring. You can see it's extended forward from the hatch of the Dragon right now. As yeah. soon as those pedals make contact, uh, latching pawls will engage and hold the pedals against the uh, opposite ones on the IDA. And contact pins will depress, and we should hear the call out for soft capture achieved. Hands off point. Copy. All right, so we're at that crew hands off point. That means we're about two meters away. Crew no, no longer sending commands. Every Dragon doing everything on its own. Stop capture confirmed. Uh, you can hear the cheers behind us at uh, SpaceX headquarters in Hawthorne, California. We have confirmation of a soft capture of the Dragon spacecraft to the International Space Station. Uh, you can see in your view the Dragon still moving around a little bit. Uh, that's the soft capture ring is attached to Dragon by way of six arms that are all attached to springs that help dampen the motion. The difference in the relative velocities between the Dragon and the space station. And you're probably and hearing some cheers from the one. Cheers. We can confirm hard capture is complete. Hard capture complete. Excellent news. That means that that's Congratulations set. once again to the huge team around the world to make this possible. The second set of rings was uh, fully fully retracted. And, and we concur uh, to the success of the entire capture. teams around the world.